Let me see. Well, who's going to tell the story, me or you? You can tell the story. Oh my We've gosh. already started already. This Go. is one of those things that would be funny, but it's not. It's not. It's probably funny to everyone else but us. Yeah, it's not. What happened, um, me and Justin were going to go... Um, I need to have my battery checked in my car uh, because it seems like it's a little sluggish. So it's hard to describe my driveway, but it's wider towards the house and narrower towards the street. Awesome. And so, so whenever you want to get one of the cars that's closer to the house out of the driveway, you have to move all of the cars. All of them have to be rearranged. So in this case, um, it had to go out where Darla's car had to be moved out into the street first. Darla's car. Right. RAV4. And then my car, the beige one, had to be moved out second. And then Justin's car had to be moved out third. That was the closest to the house. I was blocked in by two cars. So what we had planned to do was Justin was going to follow me in his car up to the auto zone place in case I had to leave my car there or something. I didn't know. So I moved Darla's car across the street to the other side of the cul-de-sac. Mm-hmm. It's still there. It's still there. Then I back out all the way out to the other side of the cul-de-sac back by Darla's car. And that's when I see that Justin this morning had sent me two text messages. I'm waiting for him to back his car out of the driveway. So I see that he did, and then he kind of swerves over to the side. That's not what happened at all. There's no swerving to it. You, I, when I say swerve, I didn't mean in a bad way. You kind of backed out and moved over okay, to the right. as long as that's clear. It, I'm not putting you to blame here. I'm not saying that you were at fault. I'm just saying... Anyway, I thought he had moved all the way around and was going to stay there. And as I was reading my text message, I start to pull back into the driveway... Stupid. At which time I realized Justin is pulling right back in there. front of me so that he can come behind me. I'm following you to the auto parts store. There was a little, let's just say... Communication mishap. Little communication failure. And there was some metal on metal contact. And probably some plastic too. I'm not happy, really. So, long story short, he hit my car. That's the long story short. That's exactly what you did. And I took a picture. And as soon as we can get it on the computer, we'll put it in here, right? You're going to show them the picture. I will show them the picture. And you're, then... you're like not happy looking at your car. You didn't look at mine to see what you did to mine. Just looked at your Lexus. Yeah, Listen, they're both messed up. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, so I'll be here for <laughs> probably a couple more days, and you know, I took a nerve pill because of this. So I'm really kind of calm, but earlier I was not happy, happy at all about it. So Justin, of course, jumps out and snaps a picture with his phone real quick, probably because he thinks you know Insurance. he's going to have to prove something some <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> it was. I can. You guys drive it just stupid. I can't know. Who drives like that? Yeah, who gets in an accident in a cul-de-sac? That's what I was trying to figure out. So I feel bad because now Justin can't really drive his car any further than back in, in and out of the driveway because it's all sideways. And yours is just really bad. And mine's bad, but... You have to be fixed. going 20 miles an hour. Why would you drive that you were, fast? I thought you were already back around. Why weren't side. you looking? When you go ahead and you put your car in drive, you're supposed to look to see what's in front of you. What if you would have hit Fluffy down the street? Yeah. Fluffy. Well, I <laughs> mean, anyway, so it's kind of a mess right now. Um, fortunately, we have Darla's car to rely on. So I guess we'll have to, she'll have to take me to work in the morning. We'll I'm figure take, that all out. I'm going to take more pictures since I get the memory cards. Do you know where her converter card is so I can no it it's in her luggage over there somewhere so we can't we can't take the pictures that we took and put them in but we can once we're back online we can get that video or that picture out of Yahoo and post it up into this video all right it's, it's probably already been shown and we're gonna probably put it in there ten times and with arrows on whose fault it is and the person who's at fault is usually the one looking at the most damage because you know they probably have to pay for it We'll see. Well, 
We'll see. I'm not saying we're not going to agree on something. I'm just saying. That would not be Anything good. else? No, it just it didn't make me happy. I, I just, still don't understand. Oh, it made me happy. I don't understand. You're going to have to call dealership tomorrow. Yeah. Is your dealership you get oil changes at do body service too? No, we, we go up to this place up in Greer that does... How uh, much damage, cost-wise? On my car? Both. We'll just do both. Grid based, pattern. Based on past experience, yes. my car probably has $4,000 and your car probably has 2600 That's just my off-the-cuff guess. I'm glad I don't have any deductibles. Seriously. <laughs> so, will they fix my car? How, how's that going? Well, I guess that all depends on your insurance. <laughs> They're not open today. We'll see. Call her at home. Hey, Barbara? Barbara? Got a problem. Alexis so. rammed into me down here in the South Carolina Keys. Justin was planning on leaving in like 30 minutes from right now. 25 minutes I was supposed to be on the road back to Indiana. But a couple hours ago we had this incident. And he go gets WD-40 out of the shed. That's not what I got the WD-40 out for. Oh, you got it out for something else? Yes. I thought you were going to try to fix something. No. I don't think your door is going to open with WD-40. This is OnStar. We received a signal that you've been in a crash. Are you okay? I'll get back to you. Hang I was on. like, who is he talking to on the phone? <laughs> on the car phone thing. I was like, who is he talking to? He's like, OnStar. They, ca they called me. It came right through. You've been in an accident. I said, I didn't. He, he did. He hit me. All right. Look at the angle of the vehicles. It wasn't my fault. There's no way I could drive sideways and then ram into the front of his car. That's just physics don't work that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I got that picture. There's no skid marks even. <laughs> Well, yeah, what's up with that? It was, it was just... Good thing we have insurance, that's all I'm saying. Your neighbors were out there on the port swing. I know, and they didn't even act, They didn't even act like they were concerned to make sure we were okay. They just looked. They were probably like, what is wrong with them? <laughs> Crashing in the cul-de-sac. It's inappropriate. Switching cars around. It's ridiculous. All right. Well, that's the story. For now, I don't know what's going to happen or how many months I'm going to be here. <laughs> you, you won't be here months. I'm pretty sure I can get us on a priority list at the dealership. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Don't worry about that. All right. Are you done? Uh, yes, Are I've you, been trying to be done. I know you've been trying to be done, but I wanted everyone to know how Peace out. What fault you are at this. Vogue. <laughs> Will it blend? Will that it is blend? the question. Will the dents come out? Failblog.org Alright. You're lucky I'm happier right now because I was not happy with you earlier. It's just cars. Click off. <laughs> <laughs>